Hello and welcome to Indrawn Art. My name is Indra and we are drawn to art. In this video I'm gonna show you how I created my final design idea for Thoban's ultimate withered costume for the Super Spell Heroes competition. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird today because I um, got a cold and I have had a headache for two days straight and my throat feels like it's on fire so bear with me but I wanted to get the video out anyways. So let's start. This is my final concept of Thoban's costume. I chose him to work with because I liked him the most even though all other characters are really cool too but he has a cute feline companion and I always love animal companions so he had to be the character I would design a costume for. I wanted his tiger to become a lion and I drew a lion's head using a reference picture first to get a, the anatomy right. I skipped the first idea you have seen in my sketchbook of having a little tiger floating above his staff. It looked too cute to have it in an ultimate costume and I changed it into that medium sized lion that sits on his arm grabbing the staff so both of them can cast powerful spells so you can win every battle. Um, I incorporated the design of the tiger's tail into my lion's tail to have a connection between both designs. I did the same for Thoban's armor, reusing elements like the rope of his basic and advanced form and the Japanese inspired costume in his Masamune style. Here I draw the first layer and I chose the first color combination to be red and yellow but it didn't use it in the end because it looked too normal in my opinion. Here add some shading to see well, maybe it looks better with shading but no 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 I didn't like it at all. <laughs> so here I just started over again to get the colors out of my system and drew the shading first in this next step to add the colors later to give me an idea of how the colors will work with the shadows already in my picture and this has been a really good idea because after that step it really was easy to add the colors. That color combination of a bluish color, bluish and purple color and yellow looks much better to the eye and more harmonious and I was able to use similar colors for the lion and since it's a magical lion I was able to use unusual colors as well that fit the armor of Thoban as well. I um, used a very simple background um, so you can really see the design of my character much better. Here you can see me redraw the face of Thoban because I wanted to have the original facial expression and I add more shadows in, deselecting the multiply layer to see the shadows more clearly and I color um, the line art later on as well so um, the picture looks more soft and better without the harsh lines. Um, after that I add in the highlights and some rim lighting as well, so you can really see the character even better. And I also give some shine to the armor as well. After I redrew the eyes of Thoban, I add in more darker shadows using a layer set to multiply to get an even shading with the same color. I shade the face and uh, the lines some more. And here I redraw the background to make it a little bit darker and I use a bright outline around my characters to make it very easy to see the design of his costume. So here's Thoban's new ultimate costume in all his glory. 
I loved working on this picture a lot because it was much fun to dive into a new art style and play around with different costume design ideas. Please like, share and subscribe if you like my content and let me know in the comments below who is your favorite character in the Superspell Heroes game. So now my voice sounds very weird and <laughs> my throat isn't better. So I will head to bed and sleep a little bit more and I see you all next week and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.